Hi! Welcome to our new museum this week. Well, actually it's not a museum, it's a church. This is the largest church in the world. This is St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican City, and which is located in the city of Rome, Italy. But the Vatican City is actually its own country, and it is the smallest country in the world. St. Peter's Basilica has actually been designed by many architects, including Michelangelo and Bernini. Now, let's see if we can get a better look at the church. Now, you can see that this is St. Peter's uh, Basilica from up high. I know, I'm kind of scared, but it's all right. Bernini designed these colonnades to go around the piazza in front of the church. Now, these um, colonnades actually look kind of like arms, and it's all the influence of the Baroque time because they really wanted the, it was about feelings and emotions, and they wanted the people who were standing here listening to the Pope speak to feel like God was with them and like the church was wrapping their arms around them. When you first enter St. Peter's Basilica, when you first enter to the right, you're going to see this sculpture called the Pieta, or the Pity, by Michelangelo. Now, Michelangelo was a sculptor by heart. He did some architecture and he did some painting, but he really was a sculptor. And you can see that um, what he's saying about this, because Mary is very large and she looks very strong in this sculpture. And Jesus, even though he's supposed to be her son and he's supposed to be like, 33 years old, he looks very small and frail, and she's almost holding him like an infant or a baby. And you can see the detail on this sculpture uh, with the folds and her fabric, and the, the bodies are very smooth, but the fabric gives it this texture. And even though it's made out of stone, it looks like you could just reach out and um, touch the fabric. Welcome to the Sistine Chapel. Now the Sistine Chapel is famous for its ceiling that was painted by Michelangelo, but it was also has paintings by some famous painters, including Raphael and Botticelli. So let's take a better look at the ceiling. Here we can see it a little bit better. This is the ceiling I was talking about. This is what Michelangelo painted. Now, Michelangelo wasn't really a painter. He was a sculptor. And he did some architecture as well, which we heard about. But the Pope was really insistent that he paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. So Michelangelo said, okay. And he took four years to paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. And he started kind of at the end and worked his way in the Bible to the beginning because he wasn't so sure about his style and his technique and so he wanted to practice a little bit before he got to his biggest and most famous painting, The Creation of Adam. Let's take a closer look. Now this is The Creation of Adam and this is one of Michelangelo's most famous paintings. This is God right here, and he's fully clothed. And you have all the cherubs from heaven around him. They're kind of like angels. And then this is Adam, and God is making Adam. And they are touching just by a finger. And this is kind of saying that um, Adam is a part of God. Well, thank you for coming to see St. Peter's Basilica or the Vatican with me. Now next week you'll have to tune in because it's our last museum tour and we're going to go see a museum designed by a famous architect and it's going to tie in with our art for next week. See you then.